Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, how are you? All right, man. Good. good. How you doing? Great. Uh, every time I come on these things, everyone has a better background than me in my little. That's not hard. That's not hard. <laughs> this, guys. But everyone, but with, everyone. With, 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 but with the shirt and the wall, it's kind of a cool motif, man. And like you got like a vibe going right there. Someone did tell me once a few weeks ago that I look like I'm in like a prison. I'm like. You know, been captured <laughs> captured by somebody. So, you know. <laughs> uh, guys, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on the on the film. Uh, I watched it this morning. Uh, it, it was a film that I really enjoyed, but also it's one of those films that made me very very angry because of you know it was a story that I didn't know, and obviously a story that um, there's, there's so much kind of wrong with the situation uh, as we know in terms of history so uh but it was a it was a fa fascinating watch uh, barry i just wanted to start with you and just ask what drew you to this and why do you think the story hasn't been told in quite the way that that you have now well i mean you know I, I, you may or may not know you know i did grow up in the deep south i was born in england in warrington but i grew up in the deep south and um you know I wanted to do a film that would take you back to the place uh, of my childhood, really, and, and say things about the, about the South that I grew up in. I mean, I could do a film about a white Southerner that made a transition uh, to, um, to, 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 to sympathy and, 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 and his transition was into action, um, you know, because I know that story too. I mean, you grow up in the South and you are imbued with racism. I mean, there's just no way that you grow up in the, in, in the South, especially the South that Bob Zellner and I grew up in and not, uh, and not have that touch you, not have that actually get pushed deep inside of you. Yeah. And I mean, it's a story that, I mean, it's a story that I didn't know too much about. And I, I guess that, that showcases our, our, you know, and but also, history there's and so many unsung heroes of the civil rights movement. It's not just not just uh, Dr. King and Dr. Abernathy and John Lewis and and Rosa Parks. There's so many, so many stories. Yeah, absolutely. And Cedric, for you, I mean, uh, we've seen those stories about Mark, Malcolm X and, and all the rest of think films like Selma and o over the years. I mean, wh why do you think this this story about Bob and his and his work and the amazing things that he's done is an important story for, for modern audiences to kind of to kind of learn that history and, and take take appreciation of it? Well, I think, you know, you know, in, in, with all of the unrest that's going on even today that's still happening in the world from George Floyd to Breonna Taylor, uh, you start to see, you know, people stand up. You know, George Floyd was one where you definitely saw the galvanic galvanization of many cultures, many people coming out and saying enough is enough. And I think that, you know, this movie shows us that it's been people doing that, that Bob and, and people like himself have, 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 at a young age, as a, at a, as a college student, had to make a choice to to decide that they wanted to be on the right side of history by saying, you know, bigotry and, you know, and and, and uh, racism is unacceptable. And so I think that that's what is a great parallel about this movie, that young people can see that they, this is this is an idea that has been existing and people have been fighting and participating and, and that it takes a whole village of of every culture and people getting behind uh, an idea that's saying that it's OK to not uh, accept this kind of racial intolerance in the world. And, and, the, and the goal of a lot of these movements, it should be, is to change the hearts and minds of people. Because if you're not changing the hearts and minds, you're not going to succeed. You know, it's not just changing the laws. People got to change. And so this is a movie yeah. about somebody whose heart and mind was changed. I mean, his grandfather was in the Klan. He could have he could have gone a whole different way. He could have ended up just as right wing uh, as his grandfather, but he didn't. Yeah, absolutely. I was surprised by that. You know, when you're watching it, I, I didn't know the history, so it could have quite easily gone that way, and it would have been kind of even scarier than it than it was before. Um, I just, I just as a final question, Barry. I mean, in terms of making this, obviously you've you've edited a lot of films and stuff like that. Did you enjoy making this kind of getting into the as you say, making sure that you represented everything in the in the right way and made sure that you brought a, a level of realism to it? You know, I did enjoy it, even though it was a tough, tough movie to make. I, I, I really did enjoy it. And, and it was the very first movie for me as a director where I felt I, I stepped up and I was really a director, that I was on top of it. And, and, and that was very enjoyable. Um, I, never felt, I never felt lost. And, so, and, I, and I was actually shooting in, in my home, hometown where the story is, is, 
it was. I mean, that's how, you know, Bob went to college there in that town. So, um, you know, uh, I found the whole process to be enjoyable. I loved writing it. I loved directing it. And, and, I, and I loved editing it. The trifecta, perfect trifecta. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, couldn't I just, I just, I, couldn't I just found it. out some of this information, Scott. That explains why Barry would show up with the beret and the bullhorn, <laughs> and then, you know, he was really, he was really directing. He, he had the whole guys. Jot first. Often walk up to you and do this. You know, you like Barry. It's a lot, you know. <laughs> uh, guys, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on the film yeah. again, and uh, have a lovely weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!